Uh, my name's Alex Rubush with Yetter Farm Equipment. We just got done installing a Devastator on this 4408 case corn head. Um, and now I kind of wanted to go over some tips and tricks on getting your corn head set and getting everything working properly so you can not only optimize the performance of your corn head, but optimize the performance of your Devastators too. The first thing we did is, is we lowered the head down to operating height. Um, basically, you'll just want to decide how high you want to process your stocks by, you know, kind of going off of the beginning of your, your stock rolls, and, and that'll determine how high you're going to process your stocks. Um, from there, you want to set your snouts. Some guys like to have their snouts running just about right on the ground. Some guys want them just a little bit off the ground, but you can adjust that and, and, and adjust your head height in relation to your snouts by moving this pin right here up or down. And that is basically a stop for your snouts and it will let them go by adjusting it up and down that will allow your snouts to go lower or higher. So and that will affect the, the ride height of your Devastator also. So if you ever get into some sort of a plugging situation where maybe your Devastator's wanting to drag up or you're having some issues, sometimes raising your head height a couple of inches will, will eliminate some issues. And like I say, you can still run your snouts on the ground. Say if you get into some down corn or something like that, and you can adjust your snout height in relation. The next thing you want to check is your deck plate angle. The uh, Devastator kits that we're sending out right now come with this angle meter just so you can check your deck plate angle. You're just going to want to set it flat on your deck plates right here and we want that to be somewhere between 22 and 24 degrees. Um, now this head, just how it sets right here, we set it down it was at 24 degrees so we're happy with that. So if you need to adjust your deck plate angle um, a lot of the newer combines may have a hydraulic adjustment where it's adjustable from the cab. Uh, you get into some older combines and some other models don't have any adjustment at all. But like say on this case right here, um, and it's normally a variation of this, uh, these bolts right here and this mechanism and these bolts down here um, is where you can adjust that angle. So like say you want to set your head down, loosen those bolts, and you can either pick up or set down your head to kind of move this slide to adjust your deck plate angle steeper or shallower. You can adjust the spring tension on your Devastator to match the performance you're, you're trying to get in the field. Um, so there is a nut and a spring assembly back here. The initial setting that we recommend is that you tighten the nut down flush with the threads on that spring. Um, if you want more performance, if it's not smashing the stocks enough, you can tighten that up a little bit and then get some more down pressure on those springs. But that flush is a pretty good starting point. So now we're underneath the corn head here. Uh, we want to start with safety anytime you're going to have a head up and you're going to be working underneath the corn head. We want to start by locking the uh, header height cylinder underneath the throat up, put that safety lock down. Um, so the next thing we want to do, especially with a new Devastator install, you want to spin that barrel, make sure it spins freely. That's going to tell you that your bearings are installed correctly. Uh, there is one side that protrudes out the edge of that bearing housing. Um, and we'll go over that once we get into the uh, bearing replacement and maintenance. The next thing, or underneath here, it's kind of hard to see from the top, but if you pop your snouts up, there's a pin right here. You've got to put the head down on the ground and pop your snouts up. You can take that pin out, and there's a little teardrop spot here. You can slide that pin underneath and pin the Devastators up. Uh, this is very beneficial when you're trying to get on a head cart or you're experiencing any clearance issues. Um, it's a few minute process, but uh, you can get five to seven more inches of clearance um, if you pin that Devastator up. Or if there's any reason you don't want to run your Devastator while you're in the field for some reason, uh, that would be another way. You can just pin it up um, and kind of get it out of the way for the time being. At the beginning of the year, we recommend lubricating these bearings. Um, what you want to do is loosen these three bolts 
and drop this side of the barrel down, this cast housing and your bearing will slide off the square shaft on the end of the barrel. Then you'll want to take it to the vise and put it in the vise for uh, the rest of the process. So once you have the bearing in the vise, uh, best method to get this bearing out is just get a pipe. The closer the diameter, uh, the pipe to the inner race of the bearing, the easier it'll be. But you just spin that bearing sideways. Sometimes it takes a few smacks with a dead blow to get it broke loose uh, if they're a little bit rusty, if they've ran a season or two. Um, then like say, spin it sideways in there and on the back side, there is a groove that that bearing will just slide sideways. The, uh, then you just got to put anti-seize. If it's a little rusty, clean it up with some sandpaper and do the same on the inside of the housing. Uh, put a good amount of anti-seize around the outside of this bearing race and in the housing and then reinstall it. When you're reinstalling it, you want to get it as, about as close to square as you can. So, and then when you're reinstalling this bearing on the actual barrel, you want to pay attention that one side of this bearing protrudes out a little bit, the other side is recessed, and it's the side with the notches that is recessed. So that side that is recessed needs to go up against the bearing plate. If you get it backwards and put this protruding side, uh, when you tighten your bolts down, that'll keep your barrel from spinning and it'll start dragging up residue. We get a lot of calls on that. Uh, so just pay close attention that you've got this uh, installed correctly. As always, uh, feel free to contact us. We'll put our contact information at the bottom of the screen here uh, if you have any questions. Thank you.